Wednesday, October 12th in the MLB, and I'm Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And we are back with our two best picks of the day coming your guys' way. we got to play in the Braves-Phillies game, a play in the Dodgers-Padres game. As always, guys, just do us a quick favor. Go down and hit that subscribe button if you already aren't subbed. Really helps Austin and I grow this channel. And who do you know that have been just all season long cranking out this baseball content like us? And we're coming up on video number 200 for the MLB season. But as always, we're going to do a recap of yesterday. I forgot to tweet it out, but it was a one in one day. The Mariners do end up covering the plus one and a half, despite an utter complete choke job, losing that game on a three run <laughs> walk off. What a wild game. And then the Guardians had their chances, didn't get us three runs, only got us one. They did have chances. They had runners on base, just couldn't knock them in. Either way, we're going to keep rolling. I think that's an eight and two run, but we're not going to put that in the title because we're, we're a little better than that. But let's talk about a couple of videos that are live for college football. Week seven, best bets video did go live yesterday. Go check that out. Now, a big hyped up video, NFL week six, best bets video is live at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to suit and tie. Logan will like that video. And then Commanders, and Bears, the video you guys are all looking for Thursday Night Football. That'll be live later on tonight, 24 hours in advance of kickoff. Now, we did get a couple new All-Stars. If you ever want to support the channel, Logan and I certainly appreciate it for all the time we put into these videos. Only two ninety nine a month. Go hit that join button on the channel. We have a couple new ones. I love seeing this list grow day in, day in. And we got I'm a Businessman, Steven. We got D-Boy1377, Andrew, Serenity, W, Space D, LA King, and we got KB. We appreciate you guys always for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot. But Logan, it's Wednesday. You can't spell Wednesday without a W. What's your W today? Let's get a W and a player prop. How about that, right? Oh. We're going with we're going to the Dodgers versus Padres game, and I'm taking you Darvish pitcher for the Padres under five and a half Ks. Minus 134 on, on FanDuel is your best value. The other books, I did kind of look, and they, they were juicing this one a little bit. So it's your judgment call if you want to lay the juice. I don't know. This line, as most K props do, it will fluctuate a lot throughout the day. But right now, it's sitting at the 134, so it is slightly juiced. But if you're just looking at this line, first of all, you know, th this line seems a little bit fishy, right? Darvish soared over this line in three out of four starts versus the Dodgers this year. In four starts versus the Dodgers, Darvish had seven. 10, 5, and 9 Ks. So you look at that, he, he you know, he is hitting three out of four times. He's, he, you could go, go gladder that Austin's climbing the Darvish K ladder. You know, you might have people actually doing that today because of what, what he did in the regular season. And also, if you're looking at it and you're like, well, Darvish also went six innings in all four, he, he went at least six innings in all four starts and his outs prop today uh, set to 17 and a half. So, you know, that's just a lock too, right? Duh, right. But I, I, I got to remind you guys. Playoff baseball is different than regular season baseball. Throughout the regular season numbers, they really don't matter because these teams have to pitch differently and they have to take different approaches to these games. Because let's just do a hypothetical scenario, right? Let's say, you know, it's early-ish in the game. Darvish has a runner on second and third, no outs. He's really struggling. He's really getting deep into, into counts. So, you know, maybe he's walked a few batters. The Padres will not have the time for that, for to just watch him go out and sell the game potentially because they, they already lost yesterday. They cannot afford a bad Darvish performance today, so he's going to have a short leash. Now, unlike, you know, if you look at Darvish versus the Mets too, this is why I say, you know, right, playoff baseball is different. He went seven innings pitched and only had four, four strikeouts. These, these strikeout numbers are, are a lot different in, in playoff baseball. For whatever reason, these pitchers, you know, sometimes just don't miss bats. They can get deep into games, but they just don't miss the bats. And I mean, look, the Dodgers are the team, right, to take a strikeout under against. 22nd in strikeout percentage, that's 11th best in, in Major League Baseball. But the Dodgers lineup also has several hitters that know how to work counts, get, in, get into deep 10 pitch at bats. I've seen it before. Austin's seen it before. This is why we don't take nerfies with the Dodgers because they're just so dang annoying. Uh, it, it, they have hitters in their lineup that, that, that just really make these starting pitchers work and make them in a pitch out of uncomfortable positions. That's what the Dodgers do. High stress innings. Darvish will have some, some high stress innings today. And there are more pathways, lastly, to cash a strikeout under than an over. If you guys don't believe it, just just take a strikeout over and be like, oh, man, you know, just get wronged a few times on a strikeout over. And then you will come to my side and you'll be like, yeah, strikeout unders are more often the move. So we're going with you, Darvish, today of the San Diego Padres to, get, to go under in case. 
But Austin, what do you got for us today? All right. Well, naturally, I'm going to be going to the other game because we don't want to double dip and we want to talk about both games. And I'm actually taking, if you looked at our parlay of the day yesterday, I had Braves and Phillies over seven and a half, no sweat bet. Today, I'm taking Braves and Phillies under seven and a half runs. Currently minus 120 on BetMGM. This line I've seen at seven on some books. If you take it at seven, you're getting plus value. So if you want some better value, go for it. And I'm hopefully this line is not even close to what the final score is because yesterday it wasn't close either as they ended with 13 runs total. But as we know, it's hard not only in the regular season to string together back-to-back great offensive performances with both teams scored seven and six runs yesterday but even in the playoffs it's even tougher these teams are going to come in with a different approach try to you know limit the base runners and really i think they're going to be able to do it because today we have zach wheeler versus kind of a right both the pitchers are pretty solid and zach wheeler pitched once already was in the wild card round Six and one thirds innings pitch, zero and runs versus the Cardinals. And you look at Wheeler, he's pitched against the Braves a good amount. He has a 2.7 ERA and a 0.95 whip versus Atlanta in three starts. The great thing about Wheeler, he has the put away pitches. And if you've been betting strikeout props, you know a team to target as, as hard as people like to admit it. It's the Braves. The Braves are a team that likes to strike out, and Wheeler can definitely punch out some of those guys. And in 199 plate appearances versus Wheeler, the Braves as a whole have a 235 batting average and a 29.6 strikeout percentage. That is very high. So if Wheeler does get into some uncomfortable situations with a guy in second, or maybe a guy in third with only one out or something like that, he's able to get that no sack fly, get that strikeout to get us to two outs, which I like to see. Now on the other side, Kyle Wright. 2.95 ERA and a 1.15 whip at home. His second half of the year hasn't been as good, but I think expect him to dial in versus the Phillies because he's been pretty dialed in versus them all year long. 2.84 ERA and a 0.79 whip versus the Phillies in three starts. That whip is very low. If he can continue that, I have a good chance of this one cash. And in an 84 plate appearances versus right, a 0.149 batting average and 16.7 strikeout percentage. So not a lot of these hitters have seen Wright all too much and all and not have them hit him as at all. So I really do think Wright can come out here. Now when we get to the bullpens, it's worth noting that the Braves bullpen is better than the Phillies bullpen, but so I think the Phillies can get it done. Hopefully they're done with the Zach Eflin experience. We love Zach Eflin, but they've been throwing him in as a closer, and he's the one that gave up three hits and a home run to make it a sweaty game at the end yesterday. So I really do think this Phillies and Braves game goes under that seven and a half runs. Minus 120 on BetMGM, sign me up. As for our parlay of the day, since we can't really you know dive into too many, we're just going to parlay both of our picks. They hit. The parlor of the day the cash is plus 210 on FanDuel. So definitely check that out. But before we wrap it up, Logan, I want to hear your thoughts on who you think wins this uh, Phillies and Braves game because we didn't really talk about a winner. Yeah, no, I I, I was really interested in this outcome. Man, I, I, I think the, the Phillies is the way to go for value sake too. They're plus value on the money line. And I'm really what, – what have you seen – uh, to, to really not be backing the Phillies in this one, right? We know Wheeler is a really solid pitcher. And I think, call me crazy, I just never really liked Kyle Wright as a pitcher. Statistically, he's good. I just, I, I think he's exploitable. I think if the Phillies can get to him today, they stand a really good chance to win with Wheeler holding down the fort. The Braves yesterday had a lot of, you know, opportunities early on in that game to score runs and, and they didn't score. And I was like, that, you know, that could be signs of rust or it could be signs of, of danger to come. So, I'm just taking the Phillies at, at plus value because I do like the value in that one. And when you're betting playoff baseball, you never never want to take anything juiced or, or it's something that you're not comfortable with. Yeah, I mean, it's worth noting if people watched our video yesterday with our series predictions, hey, my team's won all four games. So I'm just saying. But I think the, uh, I think the Phillies have a chance to win this one. I personally think the Braves win it in a close one. My final score prediction, if you want to put money on it, is three to two Braves. That's what I'm betting on. I think it's a low scoring game. I think the Phillies – Offense dries up a little bit. And, yeah, you're right. Kyle Wright is not a guy I normally trust all too much. He can throw out some, you know, turkeys and lead to some home run balls. But, I don't know, Wheeler on a little bit of short rest. I think they can at least manufacture some runs against him. I think they're going to be trying their best to just sacrifice bunts and all that. I mean, you saw oh, that's what the Phillies were doing yesterday. They had some sacrifice bunts. Nick Castellanos. Absolutely. Yeah, wow. I don't I don't know what got into his his uh, early morning breakfast, but he was absolutely cracked yesterday. And I don't know if the Phillies can count on a Castellanos, you know, three RBI game every single night. So maybe they can who wins those games. It's going to be a good one. But hopefully we get some good baseball today, Logan. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Castellanos finally living up to, to all that money they paid him. Go out there and do that again today, boy. Yeah, and that's going to wrap it up. Those are our two favorite picks. Let us know your two favorite picks down below. Our NFL Best Bets video live at noon Eastern time, as well as that Commander's Bears Thursday night football action live later on tonight. We appreciate you guys always tuning in. Austin Logan, see you guys back again. Same time, same place tomorrow. Peace.